going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're talking about Call of Duty World War II Zombies and the double XP weekend that's going on, but more importantly, the Frosty Weapon Siege SMG that I unlocked. That's what's going down today. Drop a like on this video if you're trying to unlock your own Winter Siege weapons, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So we're going to unlock the stent. The place we're going to start out is in headquarters. We've got to head over to check out our collections. There's a lot of people here opening up supply drops. I really appreciate the people opening up zombie supply drops. I see you out there. I see you. But since it's Christmas Eve, I wanted to give myself an early Christmas present. And that's going to be the Sten Frosty. <laughs> We originally thought double XP was going to be happening from the 22nd through the 29th. It turned out it was the 22nd through the 29th. So it's an extended version, extra three days. And what a great time to unlock the Frosty. Get that double XP in. Right now, I have just reached Prestige 10. And I'm going to show you that animation here a little bit later in the video. But I'm just excited that I finally got the Frosty. This is absolutely one of the weapons I've wanted to pick up all of the whole event. So it's taken a lot of armory credits to get this weapon. It's definitely one that I'm fond of and I'm going to be using in the future. If you missed any of the latest nerfs and buffs that happened in the game update, which is post update 1.07, we just had another game update. And uh, if you missed those patch notes, it will be the top link in the description box below. Be sure to check that out. It'll also be linked at the tail end of this video. It, it's the most recent news leading up to what I'm showcasing to you today. And that is the Sten Frosty. Uh, definitely a weapon that I have been longing for um, ever since the beginning of Winter Siege. Like I said, this is a weapon that uh, I believe is going to be like the VPR for Infinite Warfare Zombies. It's going to be one that's going to be sticking around because it's a seasonal weapon. Now, there is the Goher, uh, and that's that single shot weapon. I hate that one. It's the Goher 43. I know I'm not saying it right, and I hate it. It's just a weapon that I'm not fond of using, but that does have zombie perks on it. However, the Sten Frosty that we're using here does not have zombie perks on it. And, of course, the camouflages are still glitched out. They're not working properly. And that's something that probably will be fixed in the future but right now it's not a priority for sledgehammer they just want to get the game up and running so when it comes to my own inventory i'm gonna have this version of the frosty equipped on my sten every time throughout this season pass so as other weapons and dlc variants come along i'm going to be applying those versions to my actual weapon build kits and that's what's going to be my sort of collection moving through this and hopefully get some really great improvements moving into the future. Hopefully there's more events coming along. Maybe Valentine's Day, Easter, you know. These events would be really cool to see different types of things. Maybe we can all rock some bunny ears or something for Easter. Easter eggs. Maybe there'll be another side quest that we'll get to do. I really want to see side quests with weapons. So weapon side quests would be something I would love to do. And uh, those could be handed down in our notebook and we could actually see what we need to achieve and hopefully they can just toggle along with that with daily and weekly challenges this is just something I want to see progress throughout the season pass let me know what you think of these ideas down in the comment section below but when it comes to something obvious that's gonna keep the game alive something that makes it very active even in the dead moments it's something that needs to be there and I feel like daily and weekly challenges missions bounties whatever you want to call them because we already have challenges, they might go with bounties or missions or even orders, zombie orders, where we can get them from the headquarters. Just something that can keep us active during these dead periods. You know, a lot of uh, people debate whether a PvP mode is the answer. I think it actually is, but definitely won't be implemented until a further zombie game comes along like Black Ops 4 or World at War 2. I think Treyarch will take it to that next level. We shall see what sort of results will yield from that. But what we can expect from Sledgehammer for sure is definitely some progress like Infinite Warfare introduced later on in their season pass where DLC add-ons came as something was a great thing that boosted the community and that kept the game fresh. We need to keep this game fresh. 
and something that should have been there at launch because we shouldn't be moving backwards is daily and weekly missions orders bounties whatever you want to call them they need to be there so that way we can stay active completely throughout these periods of time and be earning different rewards earning rewards is what it's all about and will keep players here when I think one step deeper even is what are we holding or doing what do we have the most in our hands when we're killing zombies it's weapons and so one of the big things that could come from these bounties especially if you're gonna make one monthly that's special is an epic or heroic quest a weapon quest that we can do a series of challenges for and it'll unlock and maybe it's time based or even around a seasonal holiday so it's special and maybe it's got special perks on it that makes it god tier and these would be sought after quests and people can do these and get excited about it things that I think would improve the game overall and keep us active throughout the dead periods and these are improvements I think should be obvious steps but it just doesn't seem like they're obvious steps it seems like we're running around in a circle and the developers keep trying to catch up and right now it's all about stabilization more so than adding improvements and we're just stalled here so here we are today one thing I noticed with Infinity Ward is that they were very vocal about the mistakes that they made at least Lee Ross tried to be with the zombies community and Cameron Dayton right now who's the creative director of Sledgehammer and the kind of our point of contact for who we're supposed to get information from uh, isn't tweeting a lot of things like Lee Ross did in the past so we don't have a guide moving forward at least for World War II zombies it's kind of random information that's being put out there but I'm definitely trying to do my best between what's being thrown out on Reddit and over on Twitter and what we're seeing in videos being posted uh, through interviews and trailers and everything uh, it's being put out on YouTube I'm trying to combine all that information to make the proper news happen in a timely fashion and so I think I'm doing a pretty good job overall and I think the biggest part about growing this channel is making sure that you guys stay informed and so having the bell icon is very important when it comes to my channel because the bell icon is the only way I know that you will absolutely get every single thing pushed out to you guys and right now I'm fighting demonetization every single day with my World War II Zombies videos so it's very important that you guys check my channel and if you can't come back and check every day and you just expect me to be in your subscriptions YouTube sometimes keeps me from being there and there's nothing I can do about it except the normal things where I just post the video and also advertise it a little bit on Twitter but other than that I don't really go out of my way to let you guys know because I don't want to bombard your subscription list with information that's not necessary so I just wanted to vent about that a little bit because you guys need to have that bell icon activated in order to receive every single notification I put out even when I get demonetized so it's important that you become part of the notification squad plus I'd appreciate it that would honestly be the one Christmas present I would want from each and every one of you guys just so you can become part of the team and what we're doing here on Grid Zombies and uh, I really appreciate you guys listening to everything that we're doing and this has been a great year going through Infinite Warfare and I've had a lot of success on my channel in ways that people wouldn't have thought have been successful and I'm hoping to do the same here for World War II Zombies I'm not going to buy the season pass here for DLC 1 I'm going to actually buy that separately just because I'm testing out the waters then I'll probably buy the season pass later into the future I know it's going to cost me more money by doing so and it's definitely not something I'm going to be fancying doing but I definitely uh, I'm picking and choosing what I want to invest in and where I want to invest in my time and I think I want to give this a chance for DLC 1 um, based on the hope that Call of Duty is providing quality zombies maps you know I've seen a lot of these custom map makers for Black Ops 3 come out with better stuff than even these guys are making and these are supposed to be the best in the business and we'll see with DLC 1 where it's gonna take us the darkest shore I'm excited and uh, that's where we're going next so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys out there in the field violent out